shares of BHEL soared to clock double digit gains in the early trade on June 6 after the company announced a major order from Adani Power. Z Entertainment Enterprises Limited says its board has given its principal approval for raising funds up to 2000 crore rupees. Dixon Technologies is looking for more merger and acquisition opportunities to accelerate growth. Shareholders of ITC Limited have approved a demerger of the hotel's business, which has been in the works for the last year. Trinamool Congress MP Saket Gokhale asked SEBI to probe alleged stock market manipulation in the wake of exit polls. Salesforce has picked London for its first AI center where industry experts and customers will be able to develop new skills. Italy's antitrust regulator GCM said on Wednesday it has fined Facebook and Instagram owner Meta for what it called unfair commercial practices. Let's take a deeper look into the top developments today. Shares of Bharat Heavy Electricals Limited soared to clock double-digit gains in early trade on June 6, a day after the company announced a major order of over 3,500 crores from Adani Power. The order is to set up two 800-megawatt thermal power plants in Raipur and Chhattisgarh, wherein BHEL will supply equipment such as boilers, turbines, generators and related auxiliaries and also oversee the commissioning of the power project utilizing supercritical technology. Z Entertainment Enterprises Limited on June 6 said that its board has given its in-principle approval for raising funds up to 2,000 crore rupees via issuance of shares or eligible securities. Post the fundraise approval, shares of Z on June 6 were trading at 5% higher at Rs. 150.7 size on BSE. The stock has gained 12.5% in a month. The fundraising approval comes after Sony scrapped its $10 billion mega merger earlier in January this year with Z. Dixon Technologies is actively looking at merger and acquisition opportunities in the country to further accelerate its growth in the electronics manufacturing segment and has a strong balance sheet and the technical competence to support such moves, the company managing director Atul Lal told Money Control. We will not shy away from inorganic ways of growing if the right opportunity comes just like Transient, which is a big trigger for us, the MD further said. Shareholders of ITC Limited have approved the demerger of the hotel's business, which has been in the works for the last year. In the exchange filing, ITC said that 99.6% of the vote was cast in favour of the proposal. 99.6% public institutions and 98.4% public non-institution cast vote in approval of the proposal. Post the demerger, ITC had mentioned that it will hold 40% stake in the new entity and the rest of the 60% will be held directly by the shareholders. Rajya Sabha Member of Parliament Saket Gokhale on Wednesday urged SEBI to conduct an investigation into suspected stock market manipulation following the release of exit poll results after the seventh phase of the general election 2024. In the letter addressed to the chairman of SEBI, a Trinamool Congress MP highlighted concerns regarding the accuracy of exit polls. The letter pointed to the impact of these exit poll results on the stock market, noting the unprecedented rally on June 3rd, where the Sensex soared by 3.39% and the Nifty rose by 3.25%. Salesforce has picked London for its first AI centre, where it said industry experts, developers and the customers will be able to collaborate on innovation and develop new skills. The US cloud software company, which is hosting 18,000 people at its annual London World Tour event on Thursday, said a year ago that it would invest $4 billion in Britain in the next five years, including in artificial intelligence innovation. Italy's antitrust regulator EGCM said on Wednesday it has fined Facebook and Instagram owner Meta for what it called unfair commercial practices. EGCM said it found that Instagram users were not properly informed about the use of the personal data for commercial purposes, a statement said. The agency also said Facebook and Instagram users were not given proper information on how they could contest the eventual suspension of their accounts.